Hello students, good morning to you all. I welcome you once again to this amazing class. I believe you are all doing fine. Kindly get seated with your writing materials as we continue. Today we'll be looking into an interesting topic together again, titled Farm Structures and Buildings. Farm Structures and Buildings. But before then, let's quickly take up the correction to last assignment. The previous assignment, you were asked to mention or state the advantages of pastoral farming. Advantages of pastoral farming. Advantages of pastoral farming. One, the movement of his men prevents starvation. I believe some of you have done this assignment. Just quickly take up the correction. The movement of his men prevent starvation. That is hunger. When the his men move from one place to another under nomadic heading. Remember nomadic heading is a kind of pastoral farming. Ranching is a kind of pastoral farming and as well lay farming. So under nomadic heading, the movement of his men prevents starvation because grasses are usually available for the animals to feed on. Water is available for the animals to feed on. Then pastures and water are always available all year round. Pasture and water are always available all year round because the ace men move their animal from one place to another. Also, there is incidence of pest, low incidence of pest and diseases in ranching system. Remember, in, land, in ranching system, the animals are kept in a large fenced area of land. The animals are not allowed to move around. They are not allowed to move about. But food, pasture, water is usually provided for them to feed on. Then ranching increases productivity due to proper management. When they are well managed, there is increase in productivity of the animals, of the, of the product from the animals. Let's take note of that. Incidence of pests and disease are reduced under ranching because the animals are kept in one place. They are not allowed to move about. Then ranching increases productivity due to proper management. And if at all you have written disadvantages, you can as well take up the correction. From the reference book I gave to Ross, you are asked to read up a particular book while you take up the corrections on disadvantages of pastoral farming. Take note of that. One of it is that the movement of the animals. The animals are the animals and the haste men are exposed to the risk of death. The animals can be killed along the way. The haste men can be killed as well when they are moving from one place to another. Remember, they move from one town to another in search of grasses and water to feed the animals. Okay, let's take up the objective of today's class. Learning objective. Remember the topic is farm structures and buildings. One, you are expected to be able to define farm structures, state types of farm structures and buildings as well. Explain each type of farm structure and buildings as well. Let's take note of that. Very important. These are what you are expected to learn at the end of this class. Meaning of farm structure. We are taking up farm structure first. They are simple elaborate erection on the farm site that makes farm operation easier. Farm structures are simply erection on the farm site that makes farm operation easier. Take note of that. They are erection. They are buildings. Structures on the farm site that makes farm operation easier. Types of farm structure. Types of farm structures. One, we have production structure. Production structure. For example, we have fish pond. Fish pond is a very good example of production structure. Then we have poultry cages. Poultry cages is a very good example of production structure. Rabbit hutches, where rabbits are kept or reared. This production structure facilitates the production in farm in the farm. They facilitate production in the farm. Let's take note of that. They hasten up production in the farm. The animal, the farmer does not need to move the animals from one place to another. The, the, the animals are kept in one place. So production structures, they are structures that facilitate production in the farm. For example, you have fish ponds, fish pond, battery cages, 
rabbit poultry cages, rabbit hutches, and so on. This is a very good example of production structure. This is a very good example of production structure. You have fish pond here. You have rabbit hutches here. This is a rabbit hutch, a very good example of rabbit hutch. Watch this picture very well. If you have rabbit in your house and you are not using this kind of structure for it, it meaning you are not doing the right thing. Rabbits are kept in this type of structure. Why fish pond are found in this kind of structure? Take note of that. You have poultry, poultry farm. Those of you that have poultry in your houses, look at the structure very well. Is a very good example of production structure. The next one we have structure for shelter. Structure for shelter. The erection to provide shelter for rest during rainfall and high intensity of sunshine. This is the local farm structure called structure for shelter. When the farmers are in their farms, when there is high intensity of sun and rainfall, the farmers can easily run down to take up shelter in this kind of structure. They are called structure for shelter. Take note. The other one is processing structure. Processing structure. They are designed to speed up the processing of farm produce. E.g. smoking houses. Smoking houses. They are designed to speed up the processing of farm produce. E.g. smoking houses. It can accommodate processing machine as well. Processing structure can accommodate processing machine. For example, this is a machine for processing cassava. Right? This is a machine for processing cassava. So, this is actually built for processing, specifically for processing cassava. There are other farm produce that are constructed for different uh, purposes. Let's take note of that. We have processing structure which are designed for uh, designed to speed up processing of farm produce like smoking house and as well it can as well accommodate processing machines storage structure storage structure this storage structure are designed to store farm produce before they are ready for sales or used as farm input after harvesting of some crops, they are required to be kept in a particular place before they are taken to the market for sale or they are kept in a particular place as well till the next planting season. Any of this built or constructed in order to accommodate this farm produce is what we call storage structure usually designed to store farm produce before they are ready for sale or used as farm input. In subsequent planting season, for example, after the harvesting of yam, yams are usually kept in a barn till the next planting season or before they are taken to the market for sale. Some grains are kept in the silo as well. This is a very good example. This is a silo used in keeping some grains, storing some grains. This as well a local storage house. Some food stuff can be stored in this place before consumption, before taking to the market, or for the next planting season. Let's take note of that. Very important. That is storage structure. We call it storage structure. Silo is a very good example of storage structure. We have room boss. We have crib as a storage structure. There are many storage structure. We have barn. Barn is a very good example of storage structure designed to keep some farm produce before they are taken to the market or they are kept there for next subsequent planting season. We have maintenance structure. Maintenance structure. They are workshop for maintaining farm tools. Farm tools are usually kept in maintenance structure. Let's take note of that. Farm tools are usually kept in maintenance structure like cutlass, holes, diggers different farm tools are kept in maintenance structure after use when the farmer finished using the farm tools per day these tools are usually kept in this place till 
another time the farmer wants to use it. So this structure designed for keeping farm tools or maintaining farm tools is what we call maintenance structure. Take note of that. If the farmer is making use of machines like tractor, if it's a mechanized farm, the farmer definitely will have a place where the machines are, will be oiled, where the machine will be repelled if there is any one out. So that structure design for maintaining such tractor is called maintenance structure. Okay, the next one is farm buildings. I believe we have understood what farm structure is. Please, let's take note of the kinds or types of farm structure like maintenance structure, storage structure, production structure, and so on. Let's quickly look to farm buildings. Farm buildings are elaborate erection designed to serve different purposes. They are elaborate, meaning they are bigger than farm structures. Farm buildings are usually bigger than farm structures. They are elaborate structures, elaborate erection designed to serve different purposes, not just specific purposes. Under farm structure, production structure is mainly for production, uh, keeping uh, farm produce. Maintenance structure is used in keeping is, is used for maintaining farm tools. Take note of that specifically for maintaining farm tools. But under farm buildings, they serve different purposes. Maintenance structure can be used in keeping the farm tools other than maintaining them. Okay, the types of farm buildings we have, not farm structure now, farm buildings. One, we have living houses. Living houses. They provide accommodation for farmers and his workers. Living houses provide accommodation for farmers and his workers. That is the main example of farm structure. A farmer definitely will have this building in the farm. When the farmer could not go home after work, after the day's work, then the farmer and his worker then can decide to stay in this place till the next day and continue their farm work. It is called living houses. It provides accommodation for the farmer and his worker. Let's take note of that. So living houses in the farm will enable the farmer to attend to his crop, animal at a time. The farmer does not need to go home after the day's work, but rather the farmer can sleep in this living house and be able to attend to the animals on time, attend to his crop, know when there is weed, know when the crop requires water, who knows when the animals require water. So living houses are usually available in the farm for to provide, to provide accommodation for farmers and his worker. Let's take note of that. This is a very good example of a living house found in the farm. A very good farmer in a commercial is mainly found in a commercial farm. In a commercial farm, subsistence farmer does not usually have a living house in their farms, but commercial farmers usually have living houses in their farm. The next one is production houses. Production houses. They are build buildings used for production. Buildings used for production. Then we have storage houses storage houses they are used for storing farm tools as well like maintenance structure which we have discussed earlier are used for maintaining farm tools their storage houses are used for storing farm tools like cutlass like hose wherever the farmer is using as his tool so storage houses are mainly used in storing farm tools storage structure is different from storage house storage structure is used for storing farm produce why storage houses are used for storing farm tools? Take note of these two different things. Storage structure, storage houses. Storage structure for storing farm produce. Why storage houses used for storing farm tools? Take note of that. Then we have farm office. Farm office. Yeah, all records and coordination of all activities ongoing in the farm are carried out. Farm office. This is a very good example of a farmer in his office. This is a farmer in his office. 
This one of the workers, the farmer attending to the worker. Every record in the farm from the input to the output are being carried out or recorded in the farm office. The farmer does not need to go home before recording any information from the farm. But the farmer just have to, the farmer need to have this office in the farm in order to record every activity is ongoing. How many workers are available in the farm? The quantity or no, number of people available, the work they were able to carry out, how much is to be paid to each worker. Everything is being recorded. The inputs that are bought for planting, every planting materials bought, the ones that have been sold, harvested crops, everything is thereby recorded in farm office. It's a well-equipped office for the farmer used in recording all activities ongoing in the farm. Then what are the factors to consider when citing a farm structure and building? The factors to consider when citing farm structures and buildings. One, water supply. There must be available water supply. And the water supply must be regular. Regular water supply, which is essential for human and animal consumption. Water is usually essential. The farmers definitely will drink water. Farmer that have a living house in his farm will definitely need water. Crops require water. A time where you have dry season, this water can be supplied to the farm as irrigation. Water can be supplied to the crops as irrigation. They can be irrigated. So availability of water is important for a farmer to cite his farm structure and building. There must be water available. Two, topography. Topography means the land, the shape of the land shape and disposition of the land this needs to be taken into consideration a flat level area or land should be selected a farmer should consider this a flat level area should be selected for a fish pond a valley should be chosen so that the water can easily be drained out the water can be collected and as well be drained out. Take note of that for a fish pond. For a fish pond, the farmer had to take or choose a valley. There are other structures that require flat area, a flat or level area. There are structures that require a valley, like a fish pond. Let's take note of that. So this are worth the farmer need to put into consideration before citing the farm structure and building. Then we have accessibility. Accessibility means the location. If it is motorable, if the place can be reached at any time. Road. Construction of road. If construction of road is possible in such place. It is very important for the farmer to have good road from his main house to the farm. So these are the things the farmer should consider in citing the farm structure. Then the soil type. The soil type for the building should be put into consideration. Then you have the climate of that environment. The climate of that environment. Then foresight. The foresight. The farmer had to need to have a foresight inciting the farm structure that is what in course of time the farm is expected to look like and the possibility of for expansion okay in subsequent in the next four years what would this farmland look like if i want to expand it is it possible for me the farmer need to have this foresight put many things into consideration before citing a farm structure maintenance of farm structure and buildings one paint should be used for wooding and metal parts the farmer should endeavor to use paint for wooding and metal parts two leaking roof should be repaired leaking roof like in the living house if the leaking roof of the living houses are bad then the farmer should be able to repair it Two, cracks on wall should be patched. Cracks on wall should be patched. 
then badly damaged parts should be replaced. Any part of the structure that is bad should be replaced quickly. The farmer should quickly attend to all this in maintaining his farm structure. It is very important for the farmer to maintain his farm structure of the farm buildings because the poor, poor maintenance of this can as well affect the work in the farm. When the farmer then needs to go home, instead of sleeping in the living house, then the farmer then, the, the work for the day will be reduced. So it is very important for the farmer to maintain his farm structure. Cracks on the wall should be patched. Badly damaged parts should be replaced. Very important. Okay, we have come to the end of today's class. I believe we have gained a lot on farm structures and buildings. I will employ us now to read up this test book. Essential Geography for GSS 2 by S. Omoseki and Essentials of Agricultural Science for GSS by Ernest Chuku de Ani. This textbook is very, very much essential for you to read more on farm structures and buildings. Assignment State three advantages of farm structure. State three advantages of farm structure. Send your response to the email below. Send your response to the email below vera.ok at greenlandhall.org. Thank you for being part of this class. My name is Vera. Okay. I love you all. Bye.